Here's how Senator Josh Hawley is going to respond. I can't wait. Senator, which of these revelations strikes you as most important here? Again, given this spin that we've heard that's evolved over time from both Biden and his co-conspirators in the media. Well, first of all, can I just say that it's not an illusion when the vice president of the United States shows up to dinner with Hunter Biden and the executives at Burisma when he's actually there in person. <laughs> I believe that Devin Archer testified that he ate. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a ghost, didn't walk through the door. You know, I mean, he didn't pass through walls. He sat down, he conversed, he ate. I mean, so he's had dinners with the executives. He's been on the phone with the executives. What this shows us, Laura, is that everything Biden has said and the White House has parroted is a total lie. They said that, oh, he never discussed any of this with Hunter. False. Now we know he not only discussed it, he himself had the contacts with the Burisma executives. Joe Biden himself was there physically in the room with these executives. At the time, as you pointed out, they're paying his son to get this prosecutor off their back, which, of course, we know Joe Biden later did for them. So it's really extraordinary. It totally blows up everything the White House has said so far. And it just shows we're going to have to have an, an impeachment inquiry here to get the facts and to figure out, is the president a crook? Because by the day, it looks more and more like it. Well, man, I mean, you just say if, if Don Jr. was accused of a hundredth of what has happened here, the media would be back to their breathless commentary. Now, in the transcript, Senator Archer is asked about that FBI FD 1023 form and said he wasn't aware of the $5 million payment to Biden. But according to the transcript, he was asked, does this allegation strike you as credible? Now, Archer answered in part, the agent explains it pretty well on the bottom. And it's similar to, you know, Hunter Biden taking credit for his dad's visit. It's like sending a signal. So he's bragging to this guy. Well, how is that not influence peddling? Yeah, I mean, unless Joe Biden exactly. is that dumb that this is just a social meeting with just all these foreign dignitaries for nothing, just because Hunter's so brilliant at, you know, foreign business. No, I, I think that's exactly right. I mean, what you basically have is Archer confirming the details of that form of the 1023. It's significant that that report came from somebody other than Archer. So we now have, just to keep the score here, we have multiple independent witnesses who have come forward to the FBI and other law enforcement agencies and said, it looks like both Hunter and Joe are involved in a foreign bribery scheme. So now we've got multiple different inputs. We've got multiple different pieces of evidence. We've got Archer himself in the room with Joe and the Burisma executives. I mean, my gosh, as we said, this contradicts everything that Joe Biden has previously told the public. And it just shows, Laura, that whatever else he's lying about, he's absolutely been lying about his involvement. We need to get the facts. Was Joe Biden bribed? That's the question. Was he bribed? The White House should answer. They should cooperate fully. All this should be done in public and we should get the facts ASAP. Senator, great to see you. Thank you.